Hi everyone, Jordan from Entech here. In previous episodes, we've talked in detail about dual power injection and how you can use it as a strategy to overcome the voltage drop limitations of LED tape. In today's video, we're going to be discussing a new power injection method that we describe as multi-single power injection. As the name suggests, this method involves using multiple instances of single power injections. Sounds straightforward enough? Sure, but we have to be careful with our wiring. Let's start our multi-single system by using the Pixel Octo from last week. The first step is to set up a single power injection. Next, we can bring in our second strip of pixels and wire it up to power like this. In order to get our pixel patterns to flow through tape sections as one, we need to connect the output of the first section of tape to the input of the next section of tape, like this. It's very important to note here that we're connecting the data and ground terminals between our tape sections only. We are not connecting VCC. This allows our data to pass continuously, but not power. If we did connect VCC between these two tape sections, then the two DC power supplies would be connected in the same circuit, and it's best practice not to do this. While we might purchase these as 12 volt DC power supplies, there may be slight variations in the voltage output between them. If one power supply is at a higher voltage, it could be overloaded as more current is drawn from it, while the slightly lower voltage power supply remains underused. This is quite a serious problem because having one power supply overloaded could lead it to overheating and failing completely. And once one driver has failed, the next driver is saddled with the load of two sections of tape, so it could also be overloaded and fail. Some power supplies can be especially designed to be able to share current, but are generally more expensive, so we tend to avoid using them. Many of these current sharing power supplies are very powerful drivers and are able to supply sometimes up to a kilowatt of power, which is far more than what we will need to use. It is far simpler and more cost effective just to pay attention to wiring while using cheaper DC power supplies. Remember that the Octo is capable of driving four universes of pixels from each output. This translates to 682 RGB pixels in 8-bit mode. Using a 12 volt grouped pixel tape like our 8PXW60-F-12-B, where each three LED grouping is one controllable pixel, you could be controlling just over 25 meters from one four universe output. You can repeat the multi-single power injection method as many times as you need to get the most out of your controller. Checking with the installation guide for this tape, we can see that the recommended max run for single power injections is about seven meters. So to control a strip up to the 25 meter max data limit, you could do four single power injections. In this way, we're using the maximum data capacity from this output of the Octo and every section of pixel tape is boosted along the way so voltage drop does not become excessive and cause a noticeable change in your lighting output. And that's it for today's video. Like, share and subscribe if you found this video useful. Comment if you have any questions or you think that there's something that we missed. Don't forget to check out our social media channels and stay tuned for more helpful and tech tips.